Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code called Warehouse Manager and walk you through how we can develop solutions in such problems. This question has been asked in Amazon interviews a couple of times in the last two years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called warehouse with three different columns, name, product ID and units and the combination of name and product ID column is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the information of the products in each warehouse. Okay, we are given a second products table with five different column columns, product ID, product name, width, length and height. Product ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains information about the product dimensions, so basically width, length and height in feeds of each product. Okay, We are asked to write a SQL query to report the number of cubic feet of volume the inventory occupies in each warehouse. Okay, so and the order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have the warehouse table with three different warehouses. I'll see house one, two, three, these are the different products and how many units of those products are there in that particular warehouse. Then this is the product table which has like product ID one, what is the name of the product, width, length and height of the products in feet, right? So if we see warehouse one has three products, one, two and three. And these are the quantities of each of these products, right? So for product ID 1, what is the volume? 5 into 15 to 40. And since it is only 1, so 5 into 15 to 40 multiplied by 1. Product ID 2, the volume would be 5 into 5 into 5. So 125 multiplied by 10 because there are 10 units, right? So 125 multiplied by 10, 1250. Similarly, product ID 3, right? You calculate it and you add all these volumes and you get in, in uh, warehouse LC house 1, you have a certain number, right? So LC house 1, you have the volume is 122.50, right? So that is what is being done. So what we need to do is because the width, length and height dimensions information is in a different table than the warehouse table. So first thing we need to do is merge this information, right? And how do we merge information? We join, right? So from the warehouse table, let's alias it as W, we can do join. Now we can do two kind of joins here, left join, basically keep everything from this or we can do an inner join doing an inner join is better here because let's say for uh, warehouse lc lc house one there was a product id called 10 right and which is not present in this product products table right so in that case we will be having null after if we perform a left join of these two tables we would be having null in all these columns basically the dimensions would be null so if you multiply the null value into units, right? So it is going to be null and then you sum with other values where you actually have something. So it is going to be problematic. So it does not matter to us if a product ID's dimensions is not given. So let's exclude them. So instead of doing a left join, what we can do, we can do an inner join. Why? Because an inner join only keeps those records where the column that you are joining has values in both of the tables, right? So for inner join the products table alias as P on what column we are joining w dot product ID is equal to P dot product ID. Right. Now, so what will what will this do? Let me just write so LC house one, right? For LC house one, product ID one, number of units one, your product ID from this column would be one, then the product name would be LC TV, right? Then the width would be five, length would be 50, height would be 40. Similarly, for so on, right? So 
after doing this after joining if we group by this column and then calculate the sum of the volumes right so basically if i multiply the width length and height and then multiply it by the number of units right so it will give us the volume of that particular product right and when we sum by grouping uh, this column then it will give for each of these warehouses how much is the total volume occupied right so what we can do is we can group by and this uh, column is where in the warehouse table right so we can group by w dot name and then we can return the name of the warehouse and we should alias it as warehouse name right so warehouse name and then how do we calculate the volume we first calculate the products so units number of units so w dot units multiplied by the width length and height right so p dot width multiplied by p dot length multiplied by p dot height and once you calculate this multiplication you sum it up right for each of the group because then only it is going to give us the total volume for that particular warehouse and we need to alias this as volume so as volume okay um, let's go ahead and run this and see if it works or not we don't need to order the result in any way so yeah let's run this code and see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is as same as expected output let me submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it yeah so this question was very simple and very straightforward all we need to do is we need to know how we calculate volume of a product and we also need to multiply it by the number of units because the width length and height multiplication is only going to give you the volume for one product right and then the number of units that are available would be multiplied to that volume so yeah this is how we solve this question hopefully this video was useful let me know if you guys found this video useful and until then i will see you guys in the next video